all right what's going on peoples it's your boy db4 die before me gaming and welcome back to dragon quest 11 echoes of an elusive age we are here at the hotel steep camp site now the last time we was here we were about to get into some crafting but yeah let's get into it and i had a little mini disaster with the last episode our first five minutes got corrupted i'm glad i clipped it well, our first 10 minutes got corrupted, but it's all good. You didn't miss much, but let's get right into it. At the campsite, we're going to get into some forging. Back up out the camp. And we got our guy over here. I do want to check and see what he's selling, but for now, let's get into some forging. I'm real excited to get the forging up because we do have some new accessories. Rings. Yes, we can make gold rings. And we got two gold ore from the guy. Oh, wow. We both can use these rings. Yeah, I think I gave... Was it a bracelet or a ring? I think it was a ring. But for now, let's craft up this ring. Hopefully, we get a perfect a perfection ring. Okay, bash. 18. Bash again. 14. Bash again. All right, I think we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna leave it there. We're not gonna go too. We're not gonna try too hard. I don't want to mess this up. And I don't think we get to keep this ring anyway. We're doing this ring as a quest, so yeah, we didn't get any modifiers. It's okay. Well, let's just finish it up. Yeah. Gold ring. Yeah, I don't think we have the gold ring. Oh, they gave him the gold ring plus one anyway. Okay. So I did get a little mini modifier on that. Let's see if we have any new armors real quick. Shields? No. Hats? No. Still got the feathered cap. Templar's uniform. Scaled armor. All right. Oh, we didn't get any new armor. What about weapons? Swords. Iron broadsword. Yeah, this is the two-handed sword, right? Yeah. Hold on, wait. I think I think this is a two-handed sword. It's it's a broad sword, right? It should be. Oh no. These are the two-handed weapons. So I can get a cast iron claymore. Wow, two-handed weapon made from the finest iron. I I'm not getting into two-handed just yet. Not just yet. And we still have the divine dagger. So yeah, we're gonna make ourselves some iron broadswords, man. Take some iron, some copper. Okay, flourishes. Double edge bash. Okay, maybe we'll do top to bottom. Let's go. Flourish. Double edge bash. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. We do oh, we got the perfection. Okay, well, then we're going to do a regular bash now. We got the perfection. Oh, we good, on, we good on that. Right, let's try to get this hilt right. Oh, almost had the double modifier. I'm good with that. Let's finish that up. Success. I got the plus two modifier. All right, all right, all right. And I got some more perfectionist pearls. Uh, I think I'm good with that. Let's check our items right away. Oh, no, no, no. Let's check our equipment bag. Um, Iron broadsword. Transfer to me. Yes. And it's better than our bronze sword plus three. Equip, yes. See, yeah, it's a, it's, I got the gold brace here. All right, all right, all right. So... The equipment bag, all right. Die before. Why can't I hold anything else? Oh, I got a lot of stuff, a lot of sleeping medicine, too. Well, let me give some of this hibiscus to my guy E. I got E dub, all right. Anecdotal herbs, I don't need this many. Let's transfer some of them to the item bag. And as I say that, we're gonna run into 20 poison mobs, and it's gonna make me wish I never said that, but for now. We'll keep at least three on us. And we need six medicinal herbs at all times. Alright, that's pretty much good. Let's check this guy out, see what he has. 
What do you got? Oh, he still got the bronze shield. This is an upgrade, too. Leather dresses and chain mails. Also an upgrade. And I can rework this stuff, too, so. But we're going to wait until we finish up these quests. And on our way back out the city, we're going to buy up some things. So I think the guy in the city, inside the town, sells the same exact items. So let's rest for now. Hold on. Yeah, let's rest till the sun the sun comes up. All right, now it's time to go. Yeah, we get up out of here now. I don't think we get XP from these, but we do get. We will get some money. So let's do a couple of quick battles real quick with these lump wizards. Get some cash, cause we are shopping, so. And these guys got whoosh. Pretty damn dangerous. Spells. You know what? Abilities. Put this guy to sleep, please. Yeah, I don't want that whoosh going crazy. And we can go crazy with our abilities because we're right near the campsite. Oh, we still get XP from these guys. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I probably should have healed up. <laughs> One lump wizard. He can't one shot me, right? As I say that, he boosts me right off the bat. Woo! Ability, sleeper hit. Ability, flame slash. Well, I took a little risk there, but we were able to come through. 27 XP. I'll probably get about 100 XP from this area before we move on. We'll go back hill up and then we'll go right back to town. Complete that quest. I don't want to over level in this area, but I do want some stuff. Okay. Yo, they they they, they little attack is clean. <laughs> Their little attack is clean, man. I'm not gonna hold you. Oh, still didn't put him to sleep. Alright, well, it's time to sism. Sism him up. Y'all, I've been watching the Dragon Quest anime lately, and oh my god, they make the spells like Sizz and Woosh and Frizz nine, look so nine. amazing. It's like, wow. Ah. They doing their thing with that anime. Toei Animation is really giving it their all. And it's just so fun to see another Akira Toriyama anime out, because, you know, Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z is legendary. Who just else to have another some? one that he helped design out now in modern day is just amazing to me. Because, you know, I grew up on Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Warrior. I grew up on a lot of this anime stuff that Kira Toriyama was doing early. So I'm a huge fan. I can do a round of sparkly spots while I'm out here, too. To be honest, sleeper. Oh, yeah, he hit 11. All right, well, flame flash. Yeah, we definitely gonna need this armor coming up out of this area because these Another guys one bites the dust. are doing a pretty decent amount to us. All right, we cleared these group, this group here, so let's just run back, heal up a bit, then we'll move forward. Wait, let's. Sparkly spots. Yeah, there's a few sparkly spots around. Let's get these first. And then we'll go about healing up. Oh, man. These guys be scaring me a little bit. I, they look like you can interact with them, but they don't. Not yet, I guess. All right, we got another Waker Book Robin. This is what I want. It's Orvan. I'm, I don't know how often these are going to spawn out in the world, but we can already make another Iron Sword. Alright, there's no more sparkly spots, but, you know, I just have to take a look. That looks like another one of them doors that we can't get through without something special. What's over here? These little drummers are hilarious. They actually have the mobs following them. It's hilarious. That looks scary. Alright, nothing there. Nothing to see here. We're just going to go blitz right back to the campsite. Take a break. Keep moving. 
We're going to scoop up the other sparkling spots on our way back to the town. And that should be good enough from there. I don't think we're going to do another round of sparkling spots on our way out of the area. So that's why I want to do them now. Let's rest up to morning time. I'll save my save when we get inside of the town. Because I am going to avoid most of these battles out here. So... Can we get a horse? No, we can't take our horse across this bridge. That's the only thing about this area. It's like, they tease you with the horse, but you can't really take it out this off this bridge. Alright, I see two sparkly spots that's like a must for me right now. All of this iron ore, I'm definitely going to get. I don't think I get experience off the female slimes anymore. So I kind of want to avoid them. I don't really want to get into a scuffle with these guys. Right now. Get out the way, please. Oh, now y'all want to start moving. Okay, great. Good thing they don't aggro you immediately. You do get some time to avert these guys. Two chunks of iron ore. Let's go. Get away, slimes. Alright, what else we got? We got a sparkling spot up there, I see. Let's go run and get that one real quick. Without getting slime. She's slime. Then we go get this one real quick. And it's another one over there on that rock. No, we gotta go around to get up on this rock. Yeah, I remember, we gotta go all the way around. Please don't attack us, bird. We're not interested in fight. Oh, how do you get over there, though? Oh, somebody's chasing us. Gotta go. How do you get over there? Let's see. It's gonna bug me out. It's gonna bug me out until I figure out how to get that treasure chest. Hold on. There's a geyser. Yeah, the geyser. Hold on. What does the geyser do? Wait, this bird had a question mark above his head. I don't know what that means. What does these geysers do? Dude, can we fly? No, we can't even jump on top of these geysers. Alright, slimes. I'm not interested in you right now. We can't go into the water. No! What is this? Oh, no. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. I thought I ruined it. I was like, no, I didn't save either. Oh, man, you can get locked? Oh, yeah, I got to make this sure I save even more often. Look, another reason to save every chance you get in a Dragon Quest game. That's Mount Fiji. I'm not going to go up there. I'll figure this out. I'll figure this whole chest thing out later. <sighs> something is telling me it has something to do with these birds. Something's telling me it has something to do with the birds, but you know what? I'm not trying to figure that out now. Let's go complete this quest. And we still have to make our way to the hot spring to go see Eric. Okay, first things first. Before we head to the hot springs to see Eric, let's talk to the priest. Make our confessions. All right, we did our confession. Now let's try some divination. See how much XP we need. About 800. Yeah, so we're not going to over level in this area no time soon. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. That means we got a couple of more battles we can definitely get into. First things first, let's scoop up these ores. I do remember most of them. We got one here. We have some up there, but I don't think... Is this where the smith is at? Yeah, this is where the smith is. But not the quest guy. Uh, while I'm up here, I'll go get this sparkling spot, though. The quest guy is on the other platform. Flurry feather. Don't mind if I do. Alright, let's just go. Can we jump down here? No, I doubt it. I doubt it. Alright, the ring guy is over there. Let's go to the ring, man. Alright, wait, wait, wait. We're getting kind of lost. 
and the smithy station. We'll go to the ring bearer and then we'll go, I guess, to find Eric. The ring bearer was in the bar, right? Yep. All right, ring man. I got your son's wedding gift. You got the goods? I got the ring. Yep, I got the ring. Oh yeah, the cruiser ring! Yes! The, cru the cruiser ring! Let's go. Equipment. Instantly. Hold on, wait. Um, items. Equipment bag. Yes, I want... Oh man, the cruiser ring. And I'm gonna, um... Rework this. A robust boomerang that packs a punch thanks to its force... His four forceful blades. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Transfer. Eric, you get an upgrade, buddy. I'll take the boomerang. Yeah. And you know what? You know what? Actually, Eric, I'll transfer this to you, too. And you can give me the soldier sword. No. I'm going to use the cruiser ring for now. What else are you holding on to, Eric, that you don't need? Gold chain and strength ring. Your boy blinging, man. You got the dagger plus three sword. Yo, Eric is kind of strong. Got all his medicinals. All right, let's check his bag. His bag is full. So let's give up some of this hibiscus. Okay. He has more medical. Hmm. Maybe he shouldn't be carrying these. No, I never know when I'm going to need the sword on him. But for now, I'll just put it in the bag. Just to save an inventory slot. Alright, we took care of that. Now let's go find Eric. Oh, more pots, more pots. Come on, give me something. Nothing. Alright, whatever. Time to find e Dog. Oh, more pots, more pots. <laughs> Yo, I really wish those pots wouldn't respawn because it's gonna it's gonna make me wanna smash him every time. Alright, off to find Eric. This guy wants to go to a hot spring. Did I talk to these people? Really? So Eric ruined somebody's date? <laughs> what did he do? Oh man, he almost stole this guy's girl. <laughs> My boy E Dog. Oh man, I'm sorry, buddy. That's what happens, man. Feel bad for you. <laughs> Your boy Eric almost stole his girl. So this is the famous bathhouse. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's from Heliodor, huh? She looks familiar. What about you? Really? This guy seems... He seems troubled and worried. Into the shop. Let's go. Alright, how do we do this? Red and blue... So we meet again. Your friend is in the sun. I said, Oh, this is the guy that gassed us up to come in here in the first place. Save in the scene. Doesn't it sound tempting? Would you like some lighter clothes and join your comrade? Oh, so we gotta go in there? Alright, cool. A wise decision. Let your soul be purified. More appropriate attire. Alright, alright. Now you're ready. Interest lines away. So which way do we go? This way? No, obviously. Blue. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes were made. Welcome on the rest of blue curtains for men. Red for oh duh. Weary traveler, program on the dusty road. Soothe your bones a while. Okay, cool, no problem. Don't mind if I do. So we get to take a nice little steam bath, huh? All right, let's go. I'll be looking for cutscenes, but I love how this game it uses cutscenes so well. They they just transition so smooth. Finally. 
I was wondering where you'd got to. Come join Maybe. me. This turned out to be a pretty good idea. Yeah, tell me about it. We've got the place to ourselves, so we may as well enjoy it. We've earned a little break, wouldn't you say? Yeah, just about. We've been on a run this whole time. Can't take it easy for too long, though. Sooner or later, those creeps are going to catch up with us. You think so? So, you've been scoping out the town, huh? See anything interesting? Yeah, they got some bronze armor. They got a bunch of other cool items I want to get. They have leather dresses. And I met this little weird girl in a red hat. Just to mention it. Ah, uh, her? Yeah, she was sniffing around here, too. She's way too young to be hanging around in bars, though. No wonder they kicked her out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was just mentioning. That little girl is crazy. She was trying to get into a bar. Looking for her little sister, so her sister must be younger than her. Kind of weird. I don't envy her having a kid sister to run around after. They have a habit of causing headaches. <laughs> Where are you? What? Uh, did you just say something? No, that wasn't me. Not at all. Where are you? Is that a ghost? Where Uh, huh? What a ghost? I, is that a g g <laughs> Oh I no! I find you anywhere. <sighs> you scared us there for a second. What are you doing in here? Yeah, what are you doing in here? <laughs> Okay. You, you said you were g going to take take a bath, but, but you never came back. <laughs> Ooh, not me. <laughs> Where did you go? Why, why did you leave me all on my own? <laughs> Sounds like she's lost someone. Yeah, tell me about it. <gasps> Wait. This must be the girl whose big sister's looking for her. Yeah, she was looking for her little sister, right? Yeah. Why don't we see what we can do to help? Wait, didn't she say she was in the inn? How about you dry your eyes and tell us your name, kid? Uh, uh, I'm Connie. Connie. Nice to meet you, Connie. Why didn't you come with us, and we'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for? Yeah, great. I know exactly where your sister's at. Uh, really? Thank you. Yeah, let's go. Alright, now we got some movement, huh? Okay, okay. Oh, we can go up here. What's up here? Oh, a file of holy water. Okay. Can we get out here? We can go out the back, too. There has to be stuff out here. We got a bloke. Cold drinks and ox steam. Hey, how did you get over here without the proper clothing and attire? Huh? Oh, these are cool. Yo, I would love to come to a place like this in real life, like one of these bathhouses. Oh man, I really want to make it to one of those one day. What? Loud thou art surpassing fair face. What thou simple the sensual puff puff for or mere 20. Puff puff? Oh no, we're not doing no puff puff over here for 20 gold. You know what? I might have a little puff puff. Puff 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 puff. What? Well, art thou alive with pleasure? <laughs> really? 
What? The exotic power of Puff Puff, what did you do? Oh, she just got me. Sorry, Connie. Close your eyes, Connie. Hey, um, about the Puff Puff stuff. Oh, so come back? It's all... Oh, oh, man. You know what? There's a lot I can say here, but... I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna straight leave it. Let's get out of here. Oh! Excuse me! Sorry! Nothing to see here. Sorry about that. Another file of holy water. Oh, let's go back out this way. Sorry about that. Good thing she didn't have on appropriate attire. Huh? Huh? Let's go, Connie. Off to find your sister. Alright, let's go out this way. Ah, had a good time in there. Oh, no, I'm good, I'm good. Do we get our clothes back then? Okay, how do we get our stuff back? Can we just leave like this? Head outside, yes. Okay, they allow us to get dressed. Yeah, okay. We was allowed to get dressed. I was wondering. Okay, how is this gonna work? Alright, let's go. Connie, I know exactly where your sister is. What is this place? Oh, we, 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 we were in here, right? I think we did. Did we? Let's check. They got pots. Yeah, we've been in here. We've been in here. These pots aren't smashable. Not one bit. Alright, let's get up and go back down. There's your sister Connie. Now nope. listen, you listen you. to I me, you little girl. Question. I'm have telling you, you I haven't seen your sister. <laughs> well, well, what do you know? Looks like she's picking fights with grown-ups again. Tell me about it. <sighs> hmm. I wish they told me they only let complete pigheads live in this stupid town before I bothered coming here. Really? <gasps> oh, it's you. Hey, kid. Good news. We found your sister. Why so shy? Aren't you pleased to see your big sis? You're looking so pleased with yourself. That's not my sister. I've never seen this girl before in my life. What? Really? Well, she did say she was in the end. I knew something was wrong. Huh? Look at that. She fooled us. Uh, I don't have any brothers or sisters. I've lost my daddy. Way to jump to conclusions, Eric. Gosh, <laughs> where do I start? Did you not think of, I don't know, maybe asking her who she was looking for instead of jumping to idiotic conclusions? That's what I said. Listen, wink, short wink. stuff. I'm not gonna let a little brat like you speak to me like that. <laughs> <sighs> I hate to point this out, but you don't have time to be standing there getting your knickers in a twist. You've got a daddy to find. Okay. Listen. I want to talk to the owner of that bar, but I can't get in there on my own. Can I come with you? Really? No. I mean, you know what? Yeah, might as well. We got we already got some kids with us. Let's just we gotta find her father anyway. Thanks. I'll never get in there otherwise. You're a lifesaver. And I got a funny feeling. I'm this little Veronica, girl's by important. the way. Right, let's get going, shall we? I'll look after this little one. Ah, little Veronica. Don't worry, you don't have to rely on these two dunderheads anymore. We'll find your daddy in no time. You'll see. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go, Connie. Kids these days, huh? No respect for their elders. Well, looks like we don't have much choice. Let's hit the bar. Yeah, let's hit the bar. Uh, 
Um, the bar is up here. Alright, let's hit the bar. Welcome to our inn. A safe haven in life's storm. Come and make merry. <gasps> Warnings unheeded. The fish returns to the tree. What can deter her? <laughs> <laughs> She's with us. Do you have a problem with that? That's right, E-Dog. Understanding dogs. The fish has a chaperone. She is uh, welcome here. Oh, she's welcome now, okay. <gasps> oh. <clears throat> really? That no staff is bigger here, than they? her. Service, if you please. <sighs> a fearsome young pup. Perhaps tea will soften her. A fine warming brew. That sounds lovely, but I don't have time for tea, I'm afraid. I'm looking for someone. I'll get straight to the point. There's a girl called Serena. Blonde hair, looks a lot like me. Have you seen her? Really? Serena. Yes, now I recall. The young girl sought her sister, but left without joy. Okay. That'll be her. Did she say where she was going? Westward she wandered, sensing her sister, she said, guided by voices. Really? Huh? Westward? Oh, the idiot must have gone to help me, and I was already back here! Oh, man. Why is that staff bigger than her? Oh... I was kidnapped, you see. I was in the bathhouse when some monsters attacked me. They took me off to their lair. Really? I managed to escape. So I came back to find Serena, but it looks like now she's gone to try and rescue me. Ah, oh, the old swapperoo, huh? Right, you lot. You're no ordinary travelers. Anyone with eyes can see that. I don't have time to explain all the ins and outs of it right now, but I need you to help me go and find my sister. Are you in? Sure, let's go, Veronica. I'm with I it. knew you wouldn't let me down. All right, let's go. Are you leaving? Yeah, I want to come Connie's with you. What about Connie's dad, man? Sorry, you're staying put. But don't worry. I think I know where your dad might be. We'll... Oh, my bad. <laughs> you... I do realize you're a little girl too, right? You sure you're gonna be able to keep up? Yeah, like, with that big staff bigger than you. Who do you think you're talking to? Veronica, sage of Arborea and mighty magician, can keep up with riffraff like you any day. I'm more worried about you slowing me down, if I'm completely honest. Right, let's head west, shall we? The monster's lair is a giant underground labyrinth out that way. Really? I'm pretty sure we'll find Serena in there somewhere. The entrance is on the coast. I think I know what I, I think I know what she's talking about, right? That place we looked at past the campsite. I know exactly who you are, you know. Don't let me down. Oh man, she knows about the luminary, I bet. Who is this little girl? She's throwing me for a loop. Alright, so we got a monster's layer to get to. Alright, Connie's gonna stay here. We need to get geared up. That's the first thing we need to do. Now, we're gonna gear up, then we're gonna rework our gear once we get back to the campsite. So let's... Hold on, she's with us? Wait, let's check. She's not in our party, is she? No, she's not in our party. Alrighty. 
wish we had more gold or we could have made gold rings or whatnot but let's check and see what they got for sale buy um don't need the iron broadsword poison moth knife i didn't buy this yet right i did say i was going to get this but he got an upgrade with the boomerang so this isn't a priority the weapons aren't a priority we did get a weapon upgrade so let's go to armor yeah, the weapons are on a priority. Bye. This is a priority. Defensive items are always a priority. Yes, I want the bronze shield. I can rework that and make that more powerful than the other shield. Now, the thing, the question is, do we get two chain mails? I think we do. I think we get two chain mails here. That's a thousand, thirteen seventy, and a leather dress. Well, nobody can equip it, so let's just get the two chain mails. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, we can both equip it. And I'll take the chain mail. I'm not going to equip it yet. Eric's going to get a chain mail. You know what? He'll equip his for now. And a bronze shield. For me. He'll equip that. All right, we good now. All right, all right. Now the next thing we need to do is we're gonna go rework this stuff, but not just yet. the poison morph dagger though. I don't, I really don't want to leave that here. We gotta just enough poison morph that. Oh, it's a whole ten. Well, it's only ten points because wow, that doesn't leave us with a lot of money. Only two hundred coins left after that purchase. Does that even leave us enough to purchase this girl a leather dress at the campsite? 380 for a leather dress. Nope. Nope. We're going to have about two and change. We can get it. We're fighting mobs, but after we level up once. But I'm more interested in buying some things that can keep us alive. Where is the store? Oh, it's down. You gotta go down. Okay, cool. Let's go up and then go down. I get so turned around on these maps, it's not even funny. And another thing, apparently there's two shops here. Yeah, I don't... Why are there two shops here? What do you sell? But this is oh slime earrings. Oh man. Two defense, six charm. That's better than my Gemma thing. Oh hold on, wait. We gotta go check the other one. The other store and see what they sell. They might have a valuable item too. Let's check. Yeah, let's go into this store down here. Wow, we're going to get them slime earrings. That's worth the 950. I mean, the 800 is better than the 950 is what I meant to say. Oh, so he only got the Chimera ring and a bunch of other useless things. All right, cool. Double slime earring it is. But wait, let's check our accessories. Wait, wait, wait. Let's check our items. Me. I can use it because... It's stronger than the Gemma's Charm, and we don't really need that yet. Four defense, six charm. Yeah, the slime earrings is perfect. Perfect. So, let's check Eric. Gold chain. Let's get some details on this. One defense and five max HP, five charm. You know what? It might be worth giving him a, a, the defense opposed to the health. Let's just check this. Oh, he, he gets attacked. You know what? The slime earring might be worth it. At the very least, we'll get the set of slime earrings anyway. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to use them later down the line. So let's purchase two pairs of slime earrings. I can definitely use them. Now, is he going to get an HP debuff? I'm not too sure. So... Since I'm so undecided, I'll just go with one pair for now.
equipped, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a gold chain. I don't really want to take away that 5 HP. That can be the difference in him living or dying. But, the extra defense might... Nah, nah, not yet, not yet. Alright, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Let's check our inventory real quick. Before we leave, before we leave, let's do our confessions. Alright, we did our confessions. I want to get at least to level 12 before we go into this next area, so... Maybe we might do a little bit of grinding near the campsite? I'm not too sure yet. For now, we'll just make it back to the campsite. And we'll go from there. We might... Run into some mobs, but we got full health. We'll be fine. Let's make it to the campsite. We don't want to run into the she slimes. They don't really give us XP that like that. These drum things, they might give a decent amount of XP, but that's about it. Alright, let's scale our way across here. Now, I do want to use some perfectionist pearls to try to rework our items real quick. Let's try that. Go to the forge. I want to rework these armor pieces and at least to give us a boost to armor. Rework an item. Me. We want to rework our chain mail and try to get a mod of four perfectionist pearls. Whoa. Wait. Four to do that too? Oh, so everything is four. Well, I think we're going to spend the eight pieces on the chain mails. So let's use our flourishes. Double-edged bash. Okay. Flourish, double-edged bash. Ooh, that was a little risky. We're just gonna do some regular bashes now. That was a little risky. I almost ruined it. Woo! That almost got ruined too. Oh. We might not get no modifiers. Woo! Perfect at the last second. Finish. Yes. I'll take that. Any modifier is better than zero. Success. Yes. Successful rework. Ah, uh, chainmail plus one. Not the best rework. But let's try it again. And if Eric's comes out better than ours, you know what we're going to do, right? Pretty much going to take that. Alright, Eric. Let's try with yours. I think them flourishes was kind of messing me up. Focus cost. Hold on, wait. That's a lot of focus cost. Eight. Maybe we don't want to do that. Oh, actually, the flourishes make it cheaper. Yeah. Now that I do the math on it, the flourishes make this actually cheaper. Oh, man. All right, we got to get to the regular bashing now. Let's try to work this one. Oh, I ruined it. Ruined it. Ruined it. I don't think that's a success. Oh, we did get a success. Okay, that was worth it. No more reworks, no more reworks, no more reworks. Um, we should have our stuff equipped, right? Items. Yeah, we got our chain mail level one. We might do the bronze shield. I'm not too sure, though. I don't think it's worth it. For now, let's just clear our bag. Transfer this. Equipment bag. Transfer this. 
equipment bag. Yep, now we got our free storage. All right, we're looking pretty good. All right, now, now that we at camp, it's look like it's a perfect time to stop. We are out of time for this episode. I want to make sure you guys hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what's going on. And also, thanks for tuning in. It's your boy DB4, and I'm out, man.